Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Pony and the Kubli Journey. Ah, <sighs> chaos, chaos, total chaos. We have three roofers. This is, this is, yeah. And uh, we just came back from Casa Bozo, where Bozo is lying depressed in his bed because of something that we've done. I don't know. We haven't. It's not like we've done him any harm or anything. <coughs> right. Um. So, yeah. We were about to go and see the resistance down here. So, let's go and do that. What is that? A gate? Somebody seems to be trying to keep me from contacting the rebels. I'm not putting up with that. Yeah, darn! I don't believe it. Oh. Okay. Ooh, lollipop. That was even easier than taking candy from a baby. Yeah. But only half as much fun. Oh yeah, I remember we just had to pose as a baby ourselves. Uh, there's a letter. The letter is addressed to Bozo's mama. My dearest honey bunch, I wish you were here with me. God, what a cheesy opening. That's gonna cost him some points in my online review. Well, at least we're getting to some action next. Service at the front doesn't seem to be good for my health. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine, and in the next few seconds, I will... Arr. All my love, your Papa Bozo. P.S. Watch out for the mailman. I think he is secretly using our bath. At any rate, I found underwear with his name on it on top of the toilet tank. Yeah, that's because... Other things. Okay, um... Doctor's referral... Letter... Okay, okay, okay. I think we need to give the letter to Bozo's mom. So... Okay, let's try to talk to the... Bread wrap woman. She looks like a big extra extra large burrito herself with a ground beef cream filling. <laughs> right. Okay, so there's nothing we can do here at the moment. So let's back to the ruined settlement. And to Casa Bozo. Right, let's give this to Mama Bozo. Mail for Widow Bozo. There's no Widow Bozo here. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. Uh. Hey, where's the applause? Oh, that yeah. was a real side splitter. What's in the letter, Rufus? I'm not telling. I want the laughter back. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that was all like a TV soap. Like, I don't know. Full house or whatever. Everyone's cracking jokes and the audience applauding and laughing and whatever. <laughs> right, let's start us again with this letter. Yeah, better not try that again. I don't want to spoil their mood. Uh, fair enough. Right, so I guess there's nothing we can do here at the moment. So let's see what Rufus number three has to offer because the first one is stuck in the dark and we can't get out. The second one is here. And number three, we haven't even checked yet, so let's have a look. Oh dear. Wow, look at that! I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry us up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. <laughs> no, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third and to medium level! Huh. Oh yeah, there's another thing that I wanted to check. Where's the enzyme? Does he have it? No. He doesn't have it either. Which means... We lost it. Great. Right. Uh, organ invasion. The entire organon is withdrawing to the headquarters. It'll be difficult to sneak in there undetected. Okay. I would guess so. 
targeted surveillance. As long as he's guarding the loading, it could be difficult for me to hide in a crate. I'll have to distract him somehow. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ascension station. That is the upper ascension station. Somewhere up there, the last high boat to Elysium is waiting. What a pity the Organon has their headquarters here of all places. What are the chances I could fight my way through the whole tower to Ascension Customs? 50-50? Uh, not really. A bit less than that. Okay, we can go into the pipe here, but let's have a look at a storm drain first. Yoo! Hello! Ah. Oh, rats! Nobody there. There was someone in there. Maybe it's those. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, then let's go into the pipe. Whoa. Okay, now there's loads to do. Crate, pipe, crate, crate. Crate, organon, organon. Barrel, crate, crate. Let's have a look. Oh, button. Oh. Let's have a look at this crate. Oh. Huh? There's something moving. Hello? Anybody there? Darn. That lousy spotlight has wrecked my whole plan! Until the guard is distracted, I better stay here in the shadows. Okay. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. Okay, okay, so we have to find the right crate. Right, let's push the button. We like to push buttons. Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. Ugh. Uh-oh. I smell catchy music. You don't know what you want, where you stand, there's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. Come on, what? you do play you and your own so seeking exposition, that's okay, man, for a suit your style of life, you're self-sufficient like a cop, I went for solo, never pull a thing up over, but if you did it be on your own account, you never ask if I should skip every tutorial. You have your own, you've never cited oh, any please. editorial. Right. What's also for amigo? What's off for your big ego? The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, bro? You go, why is every moron struck by luck? Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is worth the look? If you never ask for help, it's you just tell Fazella B1 and I know how it's been done, just look at me! Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your after track and check? Die an actor remedy, just look at me! Did you die after quadruple? Need your loophole for your pupil? Is it still too hot to see? Well, look at me! They call me Cowboy Dodo! Cowboy Dodo! They call <laughs> what me do you cowboy know? Dodo. The Organon is a Cowboy, cowboy Dodo, Dodo fan! Dodo. Now that he's distracted, I just cowboy. have to find an open crate. Preferably one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Tonya. <laughs> Pity the goal is here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other ruthless. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing it well. They call me the cowboy. Cowboy, cowboy, the dodo. Yeah, cowboy dodo. Oh gosh. According to the label, this Control level, no. Okay. Here we go. This one is going to Elysium. Okay. Darn. It's secure with a combination of luck. How about that one? Here we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. How about that one? That's just used to last one. It's there. No, this one is going to Elysium. Darn! It's too small for me to hide. Uh, how about that one? There we go. This one. Yeah, yeah. Darn! It's a cure. Combination lock. There we go. This one. Let's go to this one. Oh, can't get it open. That's at the top. How about the barrel? There's no label here. I have to find another crate. Can I maybe just take the label of something? How about this crate? There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. Secure a combination lock. Uh, 
Mann, was? Die Ebo zu. Get a label from someone. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. I have to find. Great. What that one? According to the label, this one so not. I have to find another crate. Uh, what's with that one? According to the label, so I have to find. That's a waste. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I have to find it. What about that one? Of time. I should find a crate that's going to elite. Why does that really any left now? Oh, look at me, look at me, Tor. Whatever. As long as his yowling distracts the god, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, which one? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Ah, stop being jealous. Uh. Huh. I need to find the label. He's distracted. Uh, can't do something. It's just crazy, you know. Uh, can't even take the labels off. Yeah, I got nothing here. Let's go back. I have to run right through the guard line of sight. Uh, so I can't even go back. Forget it. I have to run right through the guard line of sight. Right. Um. Let's have a look. What happened here? Uh, her constant howling is putting us at risk. I have to get her to calm down somehow. Uh. Okay. So I need the lollipop here. Okay. Uh, how am I gonna get that down the baby phone? What's with the baby phone? Ooh, now I have the baby phone. You? Huh? Nothing. Huh? Nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I should have looked at it first. Okay. Oh, huh, huh, huh. Let's go out. Uh, maybe if we talk to them again. Let's 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 talk to Grandpa Bozo. I have a couple of questions about Bozo. So do I. But sometimes the most obvious explanation is also the best. <laughs> Grandma Bozo just shouldn't have smoked so much while she was pregnant. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Talk to Mama Bozo. Maybe she has something. You know what, new. Mama Bozo? What is it, my boy? Uh, there's a closed gate to the street. There's a closed gate to the street? Oh, the gate is just there so baby Bozo won't toddle off. <laughs> He's such an active little boy. Unlike his lazy brother. <laughs> and who's got the key? It's not locked. All it's got uh. is a child safety catch. But that doesn't help. Baby Bozo is just too clever. Exactly. Unlike his lazy brother. <laughs> Okay. Okay, uh, let's talk later. You make yourself at home. Meanwhile, I'll dig out some photos from Bozo's ballet lessons. <laughs> right, so it's just a child's lock on it. A child safety latch. Ah, well, why didn't they say so? That explains why I couldn't get it open. Hang on. Does that mean you? Uh. He can't get it open. Oh gosh! Yoo hoo! Huh, nothing. Huh, nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. Uh. That was oh, fun. No, no, no. Use that. Maybe we have to get. It's only a childproof device. I'm sure I can get that open without any utensil. Well then, get it open then. Whew! Curse it! Once more with feeling. 
Oh, then. Go on. Whew. Curse it once more. Maybe if we get, if we give Baby Bozo the lollipop, the caffeine lollipop, that is. Well, would you like a lollipop? Whoa! Hey, who's throwing things at me? Hey, wh what was that anyway? Must be lying around here somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet. <laughs> I would make such a great father. Well, I wonder if there are any limits to my good nature. <laughs> Baby Bozo's gone. Huh? Where did he suddenly disappear to? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that leads down to where the others are. Well, let's follow Baby Bozo because... Haha, <laughs> he opened our gate and well, off he goes to the I right. Say? The gate is open. The way is clear to the rebel camp. Sweet, but first of all, let's call to the brat rap woman. Hi there. Hello. W was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rap Paradise. So you think my sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. Okay, uh, what are you selling here? What are you selling here? This is a fashion boutique. I sell men's suits with matching designer hats. Yeah, looks more like a burrito stand to me. How perceptive of you, Inspector Crush Vest. Why are you even asking? Since you obviously swallowed a light detector, huh? Oh dear. Someone's in a good mood. Uh, any special offers today? Any special offers today? I've got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlatis each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else where they have flashing signs that say special offer. You can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for free, you know. That's very true. Wow. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, four burritos, please. Four burritos, please. Sorry, my assistant resigned. You had an assistant? Yeah. No idea how he managed to open his shackles. Well, why don't you just make the, the burritos yourself? I've had surgery. The doctor says I shouldn't move too much. That's my big heart. Why? Did you donate a kidney? No, didn't you listen? I said my heart. He's too big! Ah, oh, come on. Make me a few burritos, will ya? No, without an assistant. Alright, uh, have you seen a baby pass through here? Well, I've seen it. You went over there, but okay. Have you seen a, a, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. Oh, come on. It should have passed here just, just a minute ago. Oh? In that case, I really don't know. All right. Uh, do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? Ah, uh, just down the road behind me. And you tell me just like that? I mean, what if I were an Organon spy? Well, you just can't plan for everything, can you? You could have been a mutated flu virus. Then I shouldn't even have talked to you. That's very true. Uh, you looking for an assistant? You're looking for an assistant? <sighs> So you can read, bravo. I'm looking for a handsome man to work under me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> too bad I'm busy. I said handsome, didn't I? Oh, come on. Rufus is quite handsome. Uh, have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Yeah, but I ate him already. <laughs> you, you're joking, right? Yeah, if you have to explain it, he's not a joke anymore. Fine. Uh, uh, nothing from me right now. A good choice. We got plenty of that. Right. Uh, so the sign probably says she's looking for someone. Male assistant wanted. Yeah, well, she can just keep on looking. Right. Uh, oh, storm drain. yoo -hoo. Oh, rats. Nobody there. Well, there are quite a few people, actually. Okay. Right, uh, loads of places we can go. 
Uh, so this is where it goes to its rebel base. Uh, let's have a look here first. Whoa. Are you merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice? I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, my sales have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. That... Uh, no, forget <laughs> it. I just did. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He's selling ropes. So, obviously to hang yourself. He's a therapist. Okay. Right. I see what's happening here. <coughs> right. Medicine cabinet. Oh, let's have a look. A whole cabinet full of prescription psychotropic drugs. Well. If I can't get Bozo back to his old self with that, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Let's get him. Hands off! Oh. The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Hang on, what are you trying to say here? He looks like that mime I sometimes dream about. He tries to call for his mother, but he has a baguette in his mouth with a whole bunch of spiders crawling out of it. <laughs> All right. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> you don't want to know. No, you really don't want to know. All right, let's talk to him. I'd like a therapy session. It doesn't work like that. You need a doctor's referral. <laughs> Is that really necessary? My family doctor doesn't much like me. The last time I saw him, he locked me up in prison just because I set fire to City Hall. Then you're in the right place. That much is sure. But first, you need a referral. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, I'll get a larger notepad. Uh, right, so we have the doctor's referral right here. I have a doctor's referral. Let's see. And may I see it? Yep. Here we go. Hmm. 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 Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. Oh, dear. All right. First, I would like you to tell me why you're here. Uh, so I've got this friend. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh, I see. What's wrong with him? Well, I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Uh. Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible. But that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes. But now, of all times, so close to victory, boom! Count me out. Nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, uh, say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. <laughs> Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. Uh, I see. One thing at a time. Why, uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about, uh, yourself? Uh, right, uh, la la la, after feeling the belong, someone else, track to guilt, play the face of failure, I was dead. Uh, I could tell you about my childhood, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, let's start from the top. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. 
Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh, I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday, when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror. Right. And what's so terrible about him? Uh, you His know, name's Cletus. Cole's ex fiance is an Elysian. A real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what complex? Uh, but, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. <laughs> I'm wrecked with guilt. Uh, Rufus is wrecked with guilt? Okay, yeah, well, when he killed Goal, he was quiet, upset, so I guess so. I'm wrecked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh... I see. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I'm plagued by fears of failure. I'm plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure, but sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yep. Yes? Are you even listening to me? Yeah, that would definitely be the end of the world. Um, I was dead. Quite a few times, actually. I was dead. You mean... You had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm, like a nightmare at first. Then, I remember a light. And eventually, I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, I see. Uh, I, <laughs> I could tell you about my childhood. Oh dear, this is going to be a long while. I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. Uh, oh dear. I see. <laughs> but he was four. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, let's change his object. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. Ouch. Um, uh, but this is not really about me. It's about my friend. But th this is not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? That's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to talk about myself again. I would love to talk about myself again. Yeah, I don't see how it could be prevented. Okay, can't. Okay, never Let's mind. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. <laughs> uh, I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? 
<laughs> it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game. <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. <laughs> Much more so than my father, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. Oh, gosh. Elysium. So, what do you see in this picture? Uh, Elysium, majestically and enthroned high above the poniard, Elysium taken off to its utopia. That's me, on Elysium, together with Goal. Uh, uh, that one. Elysium, majestically enthroned high above Deponia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving me order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. Right. What do you see here? A cute little birdie, a lovely glitter elf, a gorgeous butterfly. Um. Uh, uh, what do I see here? Um. Um. Looks actually more like a skull to me, to be honest. But okay, um, a little birdie. <laughs> a cute little birdie. You what? A birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, adorable. Uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. Yeah, <laughs> most people Me, are example. idiots. They wouldn't what? know a birdie if it crawled up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. <laughs> what do you see here? <laughs> oh, that's me saving the world. I see a great hero myself. Ah, that's my picture on the front page as Man of the Year. Looks more like a devil of pitchforks, but okay, Rufus. Uh, how about that's my picture? Ah, that's my picture on the front page as Man of the Year. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. <laughs>